A brief excerpt from the subtype program of people born on August 20th of leap years or August 21st of common years. Information is presented using women as an example and is selectively taken from the catalog of human population. A woman born on August 21st of common years looks like a Buddhist deity, always smiling, cheerful, benevolent. This person is an apologist of cheerfulness and lives with continuous joy of her existence, her being. No matter what happens in life, she knows how to see something positive in any incident, event or happening. She tries to find a bright, joyful side everywhere and in everything. This woman is a goddess of fun. First and foremost, she wants to get pleasure and romantic happiness from life. And she really does get it. Maybe that is why a smile does not leave her face. Out of five emotions, anger, joy, aggression, fear, and calmness, in the Chinese natural philosophy, the central one is calmness, which is the emotion of the earth element. In the case of this woman, the basic emotion is joy, which like fire ignites sexual desire, desire to shock, appetite, and arden in her joy. Joy, fire, is what she bases on. Considered individual is very cheerful and always happy to do something funny and amusing. She is energetic and always ready to receive any pleasures. To have an interesting discussion, a good drink and tasty food, to have explosive sex or make confetti out of money. Life to the fullest is the only normal way of, her, of life for her. Since from her point of view, each person not, not only has the right to, but should seek to get all the possible pleasures out of life. As for her, she does not want to and is simply unable to live outside this joy. Of course, various troubles, difficulties and even cataclysms inevitably happen in her life too. But she thinks that her life in general should be that joyful solution in which negativity dissolves without any residue. And a woman born on August 21st of common years does everything in order to endlessly create and maintain the atmosphere of a holiday. She acts as a talented organizer of the sensation of an ongoing celebration in her own life and in the lives of others. Every day is worthy of being marked by elation. This is a woman of show and carnival. She is an instigator, a ringleader, who generates situations which would make everyone around her feel joy and holiday euthoria, just like she does. And she makes this happen. She is able to infect others with her merry fluids, enthusiasm, good mood and energy, causing them to smile with her. In addition to jokes and laughter, this woman would gladly organize attributes of a show in people's daily lives. Lasers, musical arrangements, dressing up, theatrical performances, illumination and spotlights. She thinks that it is unfortunate if uh, all this is not present in regular everyday life. This woman is lively and nimble. Other people say about her something like this. She has a finger in every pie. Or she gets in on everything. Indeed, this, person, uh, this person's peculiarity is that she is able to do a lot of work quickly and easily. A five-year plan in three years. Being so active, she infects others with her activeness. It is a peculiar tool which is always with her and she uses it in all factors. It is possible to say that she lives with an appetite, eats appetizingly, dresses appetizingly, tells stories appetizingly, engages in things absorbedly. Interestingly, absolutely all phenomena and events in a person's life, throughout uh, thoughts and reflections of death, 
even the situation of death itself, this individual considers exclusively from a positive point of view and presents in an appetizing way. Yes, at some point we will all die, but how? It will be our last but such memorable fireworks. She regards not only someone else's death, but even her own quite calmly and joyfully. She is one of those women who can revive any funeral with jokes and, after eating and drinking well, have some passionate alone time with one of the guests. She is able to offer a widower to have sex with her in order to lighten the mood. To this, to his puzzled exclamations, how can you, my wife just died, she could respond without batting an eye. Then we'll do it slowly and sadly. A woman born on August 21st of common years sincerely believes that she is right in her life-affirming behavior. If we paraphrase a classic, which says that uh, life is to be lived so that it would not be excruciatingly painful, then in her case it will be as follows. Life is to be lived so that it is excruciatingly pleasant. If you enjoyed the brief overview and would like to get a complete description of this or any other person, you can do so at www.humanpopulationacademy.org.